In this video I'll show you how to set this torque wrench that I featured in a previous video. And I'm gonna tighten that knot there that you're looking at straight on. And another one, yeah I'm gonna go for the top one up there. I chose these two because they have different torque settings and uh, they produce a different click. So let's start with the scale on the torque wrench. Same, like I said, same torque wrench, same scale. So here is the uh, torque amount in pounds foot. Although it says foot pounds, it's technically it's pounds foot, but uh, whatever, close enough. The first amount for that lower bolt that uh, that was in the distance now is uh, between 32 and 42 foot pounds of torque. So let's set it to 32. I kind of have to hold the wrench on while I'm spinning it. So we have to advance the handle to get to 30. So that's let me see. So that's it. That's at 30 now. And there. So now we are at 32. So between 32 and 43. I'm happy with 32. Let's do this. There. Just get you over here. Where you can where you can see something. There. That should help. And right now just the ratchet handle is turning so so not a lot of action is being done I'm just snugging up the bolt but eventually it's gonna tighten and when it reaches the specified torque the torque wrench will produce a click that's that kind of click at this point stop rotating it the bolt has been tightened to specifications I got another one here just come on on top of this tripod here where you can see this stop rotating the torque wrench once it clicks so that was the 32 pound nut and now let's do the same with 70 let me just reconfigure my wrenches put this one on the opposite side to hold against there and uh, let's set this one to 70. Let's see, where is 70? 70 will be further ahead, so let's rotate it to 70. Man, it's 70. What was the number? Yeah, 70 is good. It has to be between 69 and 93. So. I'm happy with 70. So this is just snugging up the snugging up the nut on it. Don't yank on it, pull it nicely and evenly when it starts tightening up. There we go. So that's the click the torque wrench produces. It's been tightened to specifications. Bipity bopity done. I got a few more bolts to go, but that's how it's done.